All right, video number two. <laughs> so again, there was a lot of boxing on last night, but at least for us in the States, afternoon, early evening, for a lot of the our, our European fans, or in this case, our fans in, in Glasgow, uh, we got to see Josh Taylor defend his undisputed junior welterweight championship against mandatory challenger Jack Catterall. And obviously for those who didn't watch the fight and maybe some of you are watching it as as I speak or seeing some of the highlights, what have you, you're obviously seeing there was controversy, okay? And Josh Taylor comes out with a split decision. Uh, <laughs> managed to... I mean, I don't even know where to start because... Number one, this is one of the worst officiated fights I've seen in a very long time. The whole removing a point, and I'm not gonna get into who I thought won the fight yet, but things like the ref taking a point away from Taylor because he like bumped um, Catterall, not like he did it on purpose. You know how like after a round finish and you, you kind of go like this? He did it to like Catterall's stomach, but not like, Maliciously or anything Just like the round ended Yo And he took a point away from him The ref I'm like Are you kidding me <laughs> That all being said I felt Catterall Being the challenger Okay Now you, you hear the uh, you, you always hear the mantra That you have to Really beat the champion To get the title Right And 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 it's all subjective to the particular fight, right? But to me, okay, and I'm going to say this. I really feel Catterall edged this fight out, okay? With, was it two rounds? Two 10-8 rounds for Josh Taylor? And to me, Josh Taylor never really seemed to make like a real major adjustment in this fight. I mean, we we can't always rely on CompuBox, right? Like, we always we can't always rely on that. But Catterall seemed to he seemed to have been landing the same punch on Josh Taylor repeatedly through the night. And I forgot who said it. And and I'm a component of this. Elite level fighters don't get caught by the same punch over and over and over again. And Catterall, to me, just seemed like he found a bit of a remedy for Josh Taylor, where Josh Taylor, for the majority chunk of the fight, really couldn't get anything super, super clean on Catterall, you know? So, down the stretch, right, Catterall seemed to have kind of, like, take his foot off the gas a little bit, but by the time the fight was over... I had Catterall, I mean, like a couple of rounds up, you know, and, and, and again, that's even me probably being, um, uh, like, like being, being, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like I'm, I'm throwing Josh Taylor an egg, like, like, like I'm throwing him a bone because to be quite honest with you, man. There were more rounds that Catterall won that I thought he clearly won, more so than Josh Taylor rounds that I saw that I was like, oh yeah, that was a clear, clear win for him. Clear round. Now, prior to the fight, the weigh-ins, to me, Taylor looked dry. Which I want to go out on a limb and say we probably saw his last fight at 140. But I personally thought Catterall just edged the fight, man. Like, I, I, I mean, I don't think it was like a, I don't think it was like what happened with Chris Colbert and, and Hector Garcia. Not, absolutely not. But it's just, it's <laughs> yeah, again, man. It's, it's part of the sport that just never goes away. And and I don't want to. Where was the fight? You know. It is what it is, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's. It's it's the sport that we love so much. And listen, some there might be some of you that thought Taylor won the fight. I'm not going to argue with you. I mean, it, it is what it is. But 
this sport just has a way, man, of you showing it love and affection and, and, and you, you give up your time for this sport only for it to proverbially kick you in the nuts <laughs> from time to time, right? And I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I to me, t Taylor didn't look good last night. And I don't know if it's a sign of he needs to get out of 140. I mean, now look, he did. He was coming off a knee injury. He had COVID. He had a he had bronchial issues. So it's like okay, you know. But man, this is it's just. I'm sorry, Black. I, I'm just freestyling this. I mean, I just when they announced when they announced, and still, I like in my head, I'm like, yeah, of course, right? <laughs> of course. So. I, I think this is Josh Taylor's last fight at 140. I think he's going to move up to 147, try to explore his options there. Well, listen, man, I'm going to tell y'all, man. Uh, anybody y'all think that, and I, I've talked to some of y'all that think that Josh Taylor has any remote chance against Terrence Crawford, please, please, <laughs> please. Let alone, even at 147, man, I mean... I, I, I like Josh... I mean, I think he's a good fighter, man. Don't get it twisted, but... I guess... I guess... the jury. All right, I'll say this, okay? Just to be fair... I think the jury will be out on him... As it concerns like him going to welterweight... And if the weight drop and all that really was an issue... But... The guys hit a lot harder up there... They're a lot bigger... They're a lot more skilled... So let, let's see how this boils down, man. Uh, as far as the 140-pound division, I mean, this is what I think is going to happen, man. I mean, I think Josh Taylor letting go of all the belts is going to create some solid fights at 140 because now all the belts are going to be up for grabs. And look, I'm going to tell you all this, man. You know, Devin Haney looks as if he's. I mean, I don't know. They haven't. They haven't said anything as far as the 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 Cambosis fight or whatever. But I'm on the I'm on the tip that he is not going to get the fight, right? Teofimo's moving on 40. If Devin Haney can't get that Cambosis fight, I say drop that belt, head up. You'll have more opportunities for a world title. And then you got Gary Antoine Russell up there. You got Regis Progre up there. Everything, that division is and, and Jose Ramirez is still there That division That division could be Honestly another Lightweight division Okay dare I say probably even Better because maybe some of these Guys will fight <laughs> So let me know what you think man Josh Taylor uh, Gets a split decision Over over Steve Carroll Or Jack Carroll I'm sorry um, in, in, in a very Uh Lackluster performance Let's just say what it is man How do you like Josh Taylor at 147 Does he beat the top 5 at 147 Let's see Let me know what you think Enjoy the rest of your Sunday And I'll be back soon Peace